Excuse me. You ready to order? Because it's been 20 minutes and we could use this table. Oh, I'm sorry, but I'm waiting on a friend. Well, if your friend doesn't show up, we're loaded with friends over at the bar. Here at Skipper Dwayne's House of Halibut, we pride ourselves on that. It's too bad you don't pride yourself in your halibut. <laughs> oh, finally, we'll order in a minute. I'm sorry I'm late, but I just had to call my mother and stepfather because today is their 25th wedding anniversary, and then I rush out and forget my purse. Dash bag. When you know what the purse didn't match the dress, had to change to this. Everything worked for the shoe, so I stopped and got a new pair. Nice, huh? And then when I finally got here, somebody cut in front of me and took the last parking space, so I had to hunt out on the street. I finally found one out front, and it's only six inches in the red zone, so I think I'll be okay. Are there any good-looking men here tonight? <laughs> Isn't your tongue tired? <laughs> Besides, we didn't come here to pick up men. Well, honey, if we're not here to meet men, what are we here for? The fish. Fish? <laughs> you hate fish. Only two kinds, halibut and the merit ones. <laughs> well, the owner of a blue convertible California license 1JNO-486, please make himself known to a waiter Oh, excuse me, that's me, I'm the blue convertible. Oh, you're in a towaway zone. Oh, I'll move it. Don't bother, they're towing it away. <laughs> oh, I'll be right here. <laughs> Hike. You're fighting it. I like that. <laughs> What? The vibes between us are incredible, like two animals in the wild. <laughs> Will you please just leave me alone? Did you know that your nose crinkles when you're angry? My lips curl, too. Go away. Woo, show me no mercy. Say it again with that erotic snarl. <laughs> oh, give me strength. Pardon me, sir. Yes? I could not help but notice, but your behavior is spectacularly asinine. <laughs> yeah? You have all the subtlety and charm of Conan, the barbarian. <laughs> Buzz off. <laughs> Have a beautiful day. Thank you very much. My pleasure, madam. Uh, miss. Excuse me? Miss Harper. Oh, Miss Harper. Oh. Why does it sound so much better coming out of your mouth? <laughs> Years of training and academic snobbery. An academic? Are you an academic? Let's put it this way. Bula, bula. I'm a bula, bula, too. <laughs> Glen Lawn Community College. A teacher. How nice. Well, no, actually, um, I'm just a freshman. A freshman? It's been years since I've asked a freshman to join me for dinner. I'm used to noshing with sophomores. <laughs> Will you join me? No, I really, no, I, no, I, that I shouldn't. Well, some other time, perhaps. <laughs> Preston Pomeroy. Nell Harper. Pleasure. I just recently started back to school. I mean, not that it took me this long to get out of high school. Well, actually, it, it, it did. Well, don't apologize for that. 
I got my high school diploma in the service. It took me nine years to get my PhD. But what's important is that I ended up an archaeologist and you ended up beautiful. I guess that is important. Why are you staring at me like that? Nefertiti's sister. Say what? You look like Nefertiti's sister. Ruby? <laughs> I love the sense of humor. <laughs> no, I made an archaeological expedition recently, and there on the walls of an ancient Egyptian tomb was a rendering of Tafima, Queen Nefertiti's sister. Oh, get out of here. No, 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 really. You have the same mystery in your eyes. I want you to know I'm buying this whole thing. Good. Because I'm selling pretty hard. How do you feel about halibut? Oh, I love halibut. Katie, how can you run a boutique with books like this? That's why I asked you to help me. But addition and subtraction was second grade. How am I supposed to remember all the way back to the second grade? <laughs> what, Chief? You want to try some of these cookies? They're terrific. Well, that's very thoughtful of you, Joey. I believe I will have one. Uh, there's a whole bunch of them in the kitchen. <laughs> Dear, sweet, tender, loving chief. What the hell is wrong with you? I just met the black answer to Indiana Jones. Now you gotta talk to Joey. He's eating too many cookies. Chief, I just met a man who thinks I have the eyes of Nefertiti's sister. Good, he thinks your eyes look like some Italians. I'm going up to see Joey and see if I can get a cookie. Girls. Hi, Mel. You should see your father. Why? Oh, what do you mean? Well, he's just so thrilled I'm in love. In love? Nell, you met a man tonight? More than a man. I met a distinguished gentleman. Sounds like he's hot. Yeah. He's a hot archaeologist and he digs me. <laughs> I've never seen Nell so happy. It's not fair, Nell. Forty-five dollars, forty-five dollars a car was six inches in the red zone. I chased that tow truck for five blocks yelling and screaming. They wouldn't slow down. Then I slipped and fell down and bruised my knee. Addie, I met a man. I get towed away and you get a man. Hi, Nell. Oh, hi, Simpson. Come in. Hiya, Addie. Simpson, do you know who's in charge of the traffic division? Oh, yeah. Well? I'll give you a hint. He's in this room and he's wearing a uniform. <laughs> car away, it was only six inches in the red zone. I'm sorry, Addie. You always hurt the ones you love. <laughs> you know, I gotta put this ice cream in your refrigerator, huh? I thought you and the kids might like some. Oh, thanks. That's sweet of you, Simpson. Yeah. The chief must be crazy leaving a man like that in charge. Forget about Simpson. I didn't finish telling you about my distinguished friend. He's in town to do some distinguished work at the Glen Long Museum. Anyway, he asked me to go to Berkeley with him this weekend to listen to him give a distinguished lecture. He is very distinguished. Well, you can't go away with him for the weekend. I mean, a couple of wild, wonderful days, he takes off, all you got is Blue Monday. Two out of three ain't bad. Well, when are you gonna see him again? Any minute. I left my purse in the restaurant. Oh, Nell, you have no shame. Nope, but I got a man. <laughs> They're towing my car away again! Samson! <laughs> <clears throat> Why, Preston?
Winston, what a pleasant surprise. You left your purse at the restaurant, my dear. A very ancient ploy. Cleopatra used it on Caesar years ago. I know, I saw the movie. <laughs> Come in, Julius. I'd love to, but um, I'm late for a meeting at the museum. I have to authenticate some prehistoric bones. Well, my bones aren't that old, but I would love an expert's opinion. <laughs> Nell, you have the timeless charm and beauty of a Ming vase. You sure do know how to make a lady feel like a vase. <laughs> Don't go away. <laughs> Nell, why are you kissing my father? Yo, Daddy. <laughs> Addy. My little girl. I can't believe it, coming here, finding you. After all this time. This is your daddy? <laughs> he is my biological father. Addie's daddy? You don't know how happy I am. Imagine coming here finding you. You didn't find me. You just happened to run into me. Addie's daddy. Maybe I tried to see you over the years, but when your mother remarried, she insisted upon raising you with no interference. I was your daughter. If you wanted to see me, you could have seen me. I tried. You didn't. I did. You did not. I did. You're a liar. Well, well, well. well. <laughs> <laughs> to think you haven't seen each other in over 25 years. <laughs> Who wants ice cream? <laughs> Oh, I've seen him. In all the academic journals, they would run his picture. I used to cut it out. Then I'd cut it up. We got fresh fruit. Addie, listen. I wanted to see you, but your mother can be a very formidable and stubborn woman. And loud, too. <laughs> Maybe I'd better leave. I'm sorry. Good night now. Addie's daddy. <laughs> Will you stop saying that? But he is your daddy, Addie, okay? <laughs> oh, Nell. Do you know that the only memory I have of that man it's when I was a little girl. He used to sing me to sleep with a song called Daddy's Little Girl. 25 years. That's all I got. I'll give him a chance. Oh, he had his chance when I was eight years old. I'm just glad you found out who he is. <laughs> you might have gone off to Berkeley with him for the weekend. I said, I'm just glad you found out who he is, or you might have gone off to Berkeley with him for the weekend. <laughs> now, if the situation were reversed, I would consider your feelings and not date your father. Are you kidding? My daddy never went for your type. <laughs> You're not going out with him, are you? Well, I... May, well, I Addie, wait. Addie. Addie! Hey, Nell, which kind do you want? Strawberry swirl or pecan crunch? Why can't I make up my mind? Life was much simpler when it was only chocolate and vanilla. Poor Nell. Addie's father called and asked her out to dinner, and she doesn't know what to do. It's tearing her to pieces. Well, she shouldn't go out with him. 
I want you all to give me your honest opinion. Tell me I look gorgeous. Now, you're not really going out with that archaeologist, are you? It's just an innocent little dinner at Skipper Dwayne's House of Halibut. There's nothing innocent about a dinner in that dress. Yeah, and what about this weekend? Addie's your best friend. You can't go out with her father. That's true. But now, how often do you meet a man who you really like who isn't a jerk? Not very often. That's true. Mel, the man is no good. He left Addie's mother and walked out on his own child. That's true. But now, you said it was impossible for any man to live with Addie's mother. That's true. Mel, if you go on with this, you're going to spend the rest of your life hating yourself. That may not be true. Mel, don't go to dinner with him tonight. At 86 the weekend. Listen to them, Mel. Well, maybe they're right, Mel. Dump them. <laughs> You know, I am so lucky to have a family like you. You're right. I shouldn't go out with Addie's father. <laughs> What's the big deal, Aunt Mel? If you like the guy, go with him. <laughs> right. Somebody give this child a twinkie. <laughs> That's the way, uh-huh, uh-huh, I like it. Uh-huh, uh-huh. That's the way, uh-huh, uh-huh, I like it. Hey. That's the way I... Now, I have to talk to you. Why are you all dressed up? Dr Girl, I always dress this way when I'm cleaning the house. Oh, uh, girls, put the vacuum away. I'm through with it. Now, are you in the mood for an apology for last night? You don't have to... Oh, honey, you don't have to apologize to me. You're my oldest and closest friend. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> You know, Nell, well, there have been times in my life when I would have given anything in the world to meet my father, spend some time with him. But I, I just can't forgive him for what he did to me. Am I making any sense? Come here. You're making plenty of sense. You know what? I'm gonna take you to dinner. Guess where? Skipper Dwayne's house of halibut. My treat. <laughs> oh, you don't have to. Hey, no big deal. I won't even have to change my dress. <laughs> hi. Oh, well, hi. Your party's waiting in your booth, Miss Harper. I'm leaving. You take one step towards that door and I'll hit you with this fish. <laughs> Is this a special? Uh, 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 no. Not going to that booth. Listen, you either get to that booth or else. Or else what? Or else I'm gonna marry your daddy and become your stepmama. <laughs> what? You know the kind Cinderella hat? Now move it. Addie. What a pleasant surprise. Not to me. You know this is the dirtiest trick you've ever played on me. Well, don't blame Nell. We had a date. A date? Why'd you think I was dressed this way? To clean the house? <laughs> Addie, I'm delighted you're here. Please sit down. Down, Cinderella. Next to your daddy. <laughs> this means a great deal to me, Nell. You brought my daughter here. I am not your daughter. You're not going to the ball. <laughs> oh, it's all right. I haven't been much of a father to her. <sighs> Nell, it's not gonna work. How do you know? You haven't even tried talking. Look, Nell... Shut up. Don't talk to me. Talk to him. Y'all keep the party going. I'll be right back. <laughs> It's a 
a song you sang to me when I was a little girl. I always hated that song. So did I. But it was the only song I could think of that a daddy might sing to his little girl. Maybe I should have tried Bula Bula. <laughs> Actually, I would have liked that better. Now knock it off! <laughs> oh, thank you. I hate this song. <laughs> Maybe the other one, dear. You have such a pretty smile. Actually, it's your mother's smile. But unfortunately, in her case, it's too bad that such a beautiful smile opens into such a big mouth. <laughs> oh, that reminds me. I have to call her in the morning. How I hate to call her. <laughs> Shall we have dinner? They're the luckiest people in the world with one person, one very special person. A feeling deep in your soul says you were happy. Now you're whole. No more hunger and thirst, but first be a person who needs people. 